So, it's another glorious day at the Chateau. Not. So, we've got rain, hail, we've got massive windstorms and a tiny bit of sunshine in between. But we still need to crack on with quite a lot of bits outside and get some of the, the groundwork done really before we can move on to other things ready for coming into summer. So one of the things that we've been wanting to do is fit some um, lanterns at the front entrance. But yeah, like I said, it's just one of those days again. But I'll take you out and show you what we need to do first and then I'll show you the lampposts as well. So I've got sunshine at the minute, which is great. And then we've got all of this big conduit that we need to run. So we're going to go just past those posts there. But we're going to have to bring that from in the corner here because there's a little pole that goes through the chateau there to get all the wiring. Bring it right the way up and we're going to have a lamppost sat in there and we're going to have one sat in there as well. Um, just to, to give it a bit of light when you're coming up to the, the entrance of the chateau. So, the lamp posts that we've got, my little collection of lights down here. So these are the top of them with the globe lights and then there's the bases. So they'll sit in each of them and like I said, they've just got the globes that go on the top and then it'll just make it look a bit nicer. But we need to get all the old paint off and give them a spray with some new paint and then get them in place. But we need this first stage done before we can get any of that done. So, yeah. So that's the task for today. So we'll crack on now while we haven't got any rain and we've got a bit of sunshine. Hopefully we can get most of the trench dug and then go from there. So I will go and help them now. So we're in the 401 suite, work is going really well, it's progressing really well and a lot quicker than what we thought it would. But it's really dirty, it's messy, it's, it's, it's just one of them horrible jobs. 
But it's a perfect time to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Foreo. And we're promoting the UFO3 by Foreo Sweden. A superb little product. And it's great for Tracy right now in working in the environment that we're working in. It is a horrible environment, but you've all noticed how good Tracy's skin is looking. And it's, it's down to this and her using this on a regular basis as well. There's loads of cool little features with it, but my personal favorite, I love the, the cryotherapy and the thermotherapy that it does. And it, it is actually amazing in this little tiny device. You actually feel it really cool your skin. And it what that does is it helps to literally virtually instantly start removing like fine lines and wrinkles from the face because it tightens the skin. And the UFO3, you actually use masks with it as well. And Tracy's been using the hydrating masks, especially with, with the work that she's been doing. And it's got a heat therapy thermotherapy and what that does is it allows the the pores to open it allows the actual hydrate oils in the actual masks to be absorbed into the skin giving her a noticeable look straight away there's loads of different masks you can get whether it be nighttime ones cleansing ones sensitive ones and they all just work so well with this sort of thing there's a disc special discount code for you right now and it's 10 dream and the first 50 customers will get an extra 10% off on top of the 30% off they're given. So you'll get 40% for the first 50 customers. And for everyone else, it's 30%, which is superb. It's a superb little product. Check it out. It's worth looking at it. The link will be in the description. And I'll get back to doing some work now. So we're just in the cellar now and we've come across a bit of a problem. Well, a big problem, as Mum's just said. So, I'll show you what we're up to and what the problem is. So, our problem is... We've got not just one, but two drill bits stuck in the wall. <laughs> Mum's trying to get them out now. So, we put the long one in right the way through, and it's gone pretty much all the way through. But, for some reason, it's just completely and utterly just jam stuck and it will not budge at all and we've got a big hilly drill to go through it and it's just not budging so we decided to put another one next to it to unloosen it to get the other one out <laughs> which was working brilliant wasn't it ma'am yeah. yeah. working brilliant we got so far through which is a smaller one on the left there going all the way through and then all of a sudden it just completely stuck again so now we've got two drill bits stuck. stuck in the wall and we've got no more space to drill the holes for the cables <laughs> so we're gonna see what we can get sorted we've just phoned Brick or Mark to come to the rescue to see if he's got any ideas of what we can do but yeah a simple job of digging a trench and putting some wires in has turned into an absolute nightmare. Oh god, are we going with a fair drill bit? <laughs> <laughs> god! <laughs> We've only got four. Leaves us with one left. <laughs> oh well, wish us luck. We're either going to have three drill bits back or we're going to have one left. <laughs>
Savannah, the zombie spiders. Is that what they are? I've never yeah. seen one. <laughs> Awful, I absolutely hate them. There was one here, <laughs> and it's gone. Oh, so it's there. It's gone not. somewhere. It's there. No, oh, no, a big one. No. Yeah. <laughs> Just left me sick. They're alive. Yeah. They're in like a zombie state, so they're alive, but dead. Don't touch it! <laughs> <laughs> It's a zombie spider, Tanya. Oh, Oh my God, what a day and what a job. It has been an absolute nightmare getting this sorted. And I think that's why we haven't done it until now because we've just been putting it off and thinking, yeah, we'll do it another time, we'll do it another time. But we've got all of the wires sorted now. So we've got one wire running from the chateau all the way to the front for when we get the lanterns sorted. And then we've got two wires running, which go either side for fountains and yeah so when we eventually get them sorted at least everything's in place now and ready for them really but I'm sure you obviously what we've done up to now and we've still got a bit more work to do with it because I think we're just fed up with the weather and I'm just looking now and we're just about to get more rain yet again for I think about the fifth time today so I'll quickly show you and then we're calling it a day so we've got it all in the chateau here and we've had to drill three separate holes right the way through which hasn't been an easy task as you would have seen obviously the drill bit kept on getting stuck and then we go right the way along here so we've got all the three wires in here and then we've got one that goes that way one that goes that way for the fountains and then we can dig them in and the other one goes that way and then this one comes right the way along here and we managed to get it all the way through the conduit that we'd put previously that comes along the drive here and then comes out just down there somewhere I think it is I think mum's just covered it up so that comes there and then you can just see a little bit there and that goes underneath the drive to that side so then we can get the two lanterns in either side for when people are approaching the chateau but as you can see we still need to fill it all in and we still need to dig it in into the fountains for whenever we get them sorted um, we've been looking at a couple and <laughs> mum said we can get any as long as it doesn't have fish or cherubs on 
So the one that I spotted has got a cherub holding a fish. <laughs> but I'll show you inside now. I wasn't best impressed when I showed her the fountains, but the reason is is because the free meat is high and I think we're gonna need to think that big and that grand other side here just to make that impact that we're wanting. And she likes them. It's not too bad, it's just yeah, <laughs> she just said straight away before I even showed her any and I was looking at them, not to get those two things. But we'll see, we'll get a bit more info on them and go from there. But I'll take her in now so you can obviously see. Banged my head a couple of times on that coming in as well because we were just rushing back and forwards trying to get it all sorted. So down at the cellar, all the wires come all the way down here now. And we've got the fuse box there that needs sorting. And then right in the corner here, as you can see, the wires come all the way down the bottom here. And they're all filled in now. So we can tidy all the wires up, get all those in place and get sorted. But as well doing this job, I don't know if you'd seen, <laughs> we've got these things that are called zombie spiders, which are these white spiders that are in a sort of living but dead state. Now, the app, like there's one here and it's absolutely freaking me out. I can't even bear to be near it. But there was a few on the wall and Tanya came over from Brick or Mark and I told her about them and she wanted to touch them and move them. And one of them's gone now. <laughs> And they don't really move, so I don't know where it's gone. It's on one of us somewhere. So I'm going to go and get a boiling hot bath to scrub myself down and sterilise because they're, honestly, they absolutely freak me out. Just the fact that they're sort of alive but dead and they just sort of sit there and they've got these like white parts on each of the knuckles on the legs. So yeah, it's not good. And we've got to go through the whole thing of them. They're just surrounded by them. But it's a fantastic job done. I know it's not that great or exciting, but it's a massive thing for us because now when Shane comes back over, we can start planning the front garden and start getting that sorted. So it's not just a, a big pile of mud and patches of grass. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I know it's been a bit crazy. And if you've seen the weather through the video, it's been hailstone, rain, wind and sun all in one day it's absolutely mental but yeah we're gonna go and get a shower now get tea and yeah, we'll see you soon so don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon bye if you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau then please join us on patreon where you'll be part of our journey receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.